Hey guys, it's Mr. Fred here, and today we are going to be playing a game called Restaurant Empire 2. Um, I don't, I haven't played Restaurant Em. Oh, actually, I have, but it, uh, I have played Restaurant Empire, but Restaurant Empire 2 is a lot better. But anyway, um, what we're going to be doing in this little series here is we will be doing Campaign 1, and maybe we might do Campaign 2. But we're gonna go ahead and do campaign one. So basically, if you look at here, fresh out of culinary school, young Armand Lebouf <laughs> travels to Paris to see Uncle Michael, renowned chef and owner of famed brasserie, <laughs> the Trias a, a Table. Little does he know, all is not well with the Lebouf's in Paris. Driven out of the business by a ruthless competitor, the restaurant is no more. Arm Armand is determined to settle the score and restore the iconic restaurant back to prominence. But it will take more than just smarts and cooking talent to topple a ju juggernaut. He will need friends, okay? So let us go ahead and start campaign one. Um, so, a little bit about this game, um, basically, uh... Just a few more flips of the pan, and these okay. muscles will turn out superb! Okay, well, let me just, I'm just gonna skip that for a minute. This might be the tutorial, and if it is, um, I'll just skip. But basically, Arnold, welcome back. Mon Dieu, it's been such a long time. But basically, um, this is a game where you manage and own and customize and this and that, a restaurant. Um, that's basically what it, you know. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Great to see you, Uncle. Indeed, it's been over four years. How have you been? Fine, fine. Good to see you again. Um, how's your restaurant doing? What? Oh, oh! I closed the restaurant down a few months ago after you left. You closed. You um. What? Excuse me. You closed it down. And how much did he sell that? Not operating. Uh. So what are you doing with the restaurant? I don't know. I've been thinking, and will not sell it. But it's really not doing anything. Pro Productive, anyways. Oh, hey, I've got an idea. Why don't you let me run the restaurant? I trust you to do, but, but I don't see how, with your inexperience, you won't be abs. But if you manage to get. Okay. You mean you'll give me the restaurant if I get it up and running? Sure. Good then, off you go. Uncle Michael hands over the keys to his restaurant, and now get it back in shape and make me proud. I will. Now, I should have said, why don't we run it, but whatever. Now, it's going to take a minute or so to get this to load. So, we'll just sit back. The tutorial, so there we go. Familiarize yourself with um, the basic aspects of running your very own restaurant empire. You can also hold your yeah, left mouse button yeah, on the tutorial. Yeah, Since this is your first yeah. taste, you are currently. You can also look at the city from Tizoo. While next is the profit. Now let's go into your restaurant. Let's minimize that. The area indicated by the arrows is the restaurant indicator. Once you start owning I, more and more restaurants, I, okay, you can use okay. the square arrow buttons to cycle through the different restaurants in your possession. Is this to enter Tres à Table, left-click on either one of the arrow buttons located to the sides of the restaurant indicator at the top of the... This is the interior view God, of your restaurant. God, shut up. If you ever want to, you can also double-click on up. any restaurant that you own to enter. Can we not skip this? Try. If you are ever doubtful about a button's function, simply mouse over the button or an interface element. A brief pop-up describes your customers like to look at interesting... These are the main categories of items that you make. There are wall-mounted. All decoration items have at least one attribute, and at most two. Now drag the object in hand on... While you're at it, place a few more... Good going! Now that there are a few more items placed on your... Placing items on a restaurant... You are obviously a... Okay. Shh. 
Okay. Hallelujah, he's gone away. So what we need to do first of all is um, we need to go over... It's only one uh, floor, I think. It must not be. Um, I I thought it was two floors, but we're just gonna get out of um, build mode. Well, I guess it is just one floor um, for us anyway. So we're, what we're gonna do is we are first of all we're gonna change these awful floor. This this floor has got to go. Okay. Now I don't know if if they're gonna let us do that, and it's they're not. But that's okay. So let us um, just go through these um, awful paintings. And uh, put some around the place. Hmm. Let's see. Do we have a small one? Can you? Will that fit there? Yes, it will. Very out of shape, but you know. That's okay. There we go. And we actually are going to do. Let's see. Can I? Will Will they let us? Um. No, they're not. Use the interior mouse menu to add various items, rooms, and areas to the restaurant. Um. Well, I don't really want to do that. Um, can I not just open the restaurant? Okay, so that can stay there. If you if you see this little thing in the top right corner, that's just um, something for me to use to. Anyway, so uh, what? Huh? <laughs> So, I'm con I'm very confused here. Like, um, adventure mode. Yes. yes no. No, I don't want to. I. Uh, I can't hire anybody. Add various items and rooms to your restaurant. No, I didn't mean to... You better let me, um, take... get that away. Good, thank you. Um... How do we rotate? gotta let us rotate right well we can put it there oh that's how okay um we can't Oh, we can put that on the tables, okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put um, this, this on the small tables. And then I'll put...
I'll do that. And then I'll put... No, I think I'll just leave it. I'm gonna leave it like that. Okay. Now that's gonna go that way. Okay. Um, I am using the interior menu. I'm doing what you told me to do. Am I not doing it right? So we've got a dishwashing unit. We've got a fort. We've got a stove. We've got Um, we don't have this, so that's going to come in, and we're going to get a, a table here, or maybe, or maybe we don't need it, maybe we can put it over here, can we put it over here? No, we got to put it on here, and then we, we can put, do we have a fridge? No, we do not have a fridge. So we will move that here. Okay, well this is all out of place. What I think I'm going to do... Act, ooh, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put... It, I'm going to put the refrigerator there. I'm going to do... This, and then I'll put the microwave... Here. I'll put that back there. What is that? A waiting station. We don't need a table, we've got one. Okay. So that's good, we've got that done. Um, we're gonna proceed to the bathroom. So. First of all, let's just just rid of that. Um, let's see. That's nice. Um. And then we'll have this oh, okay, so that's gonna have to go here. Well then I want to take this out. And I'm gonna put that here. Like that. And then we can um I think that's good for the bathrooms. Um, the kitchen's good. Outside, I think, is good. But I don't know if it's gonna let me... Uh, 
Okay, well. Let's see, can we, um... We're gonna restart because I, I guess I didn't, I didn't, um... Let's just restart. I right, yeah, okay, hello, hello. Yeah. Yeah, well. There, okay, well. Through the tutorials, you will familiarize yourself with the basic. You can also hold your left, since this yeah. is your first take. Yeah. You are currently, yes. you can also, to zoom in. Well, next is the profit. Now let's go into your restaurant. The, this is the interior view. You can also double click on any restaurant that you own to enter. If you are ever doubtful about a button's function, your customers like to look at interesting. There are wall mounted, floor mounted, and tabletop mounted subcategories. Yeah. For now, let's focus on wall mounted items. The button is already highlighted in yellow. Left click on the next button when you are ready for the next step. We're going to follow what he says this time. Okay, because last time I didn't pay attention, or I, I should have paid attention and I didn't. So, there. No, 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 no. Uh, will that fit there? No. Okay. Next. All decoration items have at least one attribute, and at most two. Some increase a restaurant's comfort rating, while others may increase the decoration rating of your restaurant. These are indicated by the corresponding attribute bars. Higher rated attributes are desirable traits, and the higher their ratings, the more they will benefit your restaurant's ratings. Choose an item to place in your restaurant now by left-clicking on an item thumbnail. Now drag the object in hand onto the restaurant floor. Do you see a colored box below the item? That's the item's bounding box, the physical space the item you're holding occupies. You cannot place the item when the box is red. Line the item up against a wall. Don't worry if the item is not properly aligned. Items will line themselves up correctly when next to a wall. Notice that the help message that appears while you're at it, place a few more items on the walls. When you feel you've got the hang of good going, okay. now that there are placing items on a restaurant floor is similar to mounting items on walls. Pick a few items that catch your fancy, then place them on the restaurant floor. When you are satisfied with the amount of decoration you have in your restaurant, left click on the next button to continue. Now I've got to make sure that this is aligned. So it's that's the middle there. Yes. Okay. That's good. That's good. Um, we don't need any pillars. I don't. I don't want pillars. Nor do we need them. So. Let's see, what else do we want to put in? What do we want to put in? And where do we want to put it? That's the question. So these are uh, dividers. Uh, no, I'm done. You are obviously a quick learner. Remember, whenever you need help, you can seek me out. Simply left-click on the Adventure Mode button at the bottom left corner of the screen. The Adventure Mode interface will appear. All you have to do after this tutorial is to locate my house on the location list and double click on my name, the one that says Michel Leboeuf's home. I will be waiting for you there so we can continue your crash course in restaurant management. See you soon! Okay, well... Let's go from here then.
Okay, so I think what we're going to do here, guys, is we're going to take a little uh, episode break. Um, if you'd like to, please let me know with a like, comment, favorite, share. If you have any any uh, feedback or suggestions about the game, please let me know as well. Um, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this episode, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.